Wege. Und man sagt dir immer, ja, die rechten Klasse ist ja so. Something is brewing in Bavaria. And it's not just beer. Here comes Markus Soda, the regional prime minister. <laughs> he and his CSU party have got Angela Merkel in their sights. behind you. She's under fire for her open door refugee policy. The local elections aren't till October, but campaigning is well underway. Officially, Bavaria's CSU and Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats are allies. This partnership has been the backbone of post-war German politics. Europa is stabil, weil es Deutschland gibt. Aber Deutschland is so stark, weil es uns Bayern gibt, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Das steht fest. But now, under pressure from the nationalist AFD party, the Bavarians are taking a stand on migration. We sind ein barmherziges Land, we helfen gern. Aber es muss die Balance wiederhergestellt werden und ich sage in eins, Hilfe für andere ist in Ordnung, aber wir dürfen darüber die einheimische Bevölkerung nicht vergessen, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Da braucht es ein klares A split looms that could bring down Merkel's government and throw Europe into disarray. The issue is the border. The Dublin regulation states that migrants must seek refuge in their first port of entry into the EU. That's usually not Germany, but under Schengen, the borders are open. And even where there are police checks, like at this crossing on the Austrian frontier, Germany does not enforce the rule. Refugees have become the most vexed issue in European politics. The rest of the EU doesn't want them, and Germany won't turn them away until now. Angela Merkel's Bavarian political allies have basically given her until Sunday to come up with some kind of deal on migration from the EU. And if she doesn't, her own interior minister has said that he will order the police to start turning migrants back at this border crossing here. The interior minister is Horst Seehofer, former prime minister of Bavaria. If Europe can't secure its external border, he says, then Germany must protect its own frontier. It's a direct challenge from the CSU leadership to the chancellor's authority. Many Germans have lost trust in Angela Merkel on the issue of refugees. Do you still trust her on that issue? Wir vertrauen vor allen Dingen auf das Konzept von Horst Seehofer, unserem Parteivorsitzenden und Bundesinnenminister. Er ist für dieses Thema der inneren Sicherheit und der Flüchtlinge in der Bundesregierung verantwortlich. Und sein Konzept sollte bestmöglich umgesetzt werden. I asked you if you had confidence in Angela Merkel on the handling of the refugee issue. You didn't say you did. Ich denke, dass Angela Merkel gut beraten ist, wenn sie äh, dem Konzept von Horst Seehofer folgt. So the Chancellor's allies have drawn a line. But here's the paradox. The influx of 2015 is over. In the little border town of Freilassing, the refugee reception center is apparently deserted. Hello, Hello guten Tag. Is this the Flüchtlingsregistrationszentrum? We got no information about it, so please leave this place. Ah, okay. okay. This is a town that once welcomed thousands of refugees with open arms. But at the local cafe, Verena Domis says she's seen a marked change in people's attitudes towards migrants. Of course, you hear 
many people from foreign countries, they are criminal or they are this and they are that. Of course, the people think it, but um, I don't agree. But I, I understand that people are scared sometimes when they, when they see foreign people. Do people feel like no one was listening to their concerns? Yes. There are no longer trainloads of migrants arriving daily at Munich's main railway station. But Angela Merkel's open door policy has left a legacy. Her ability to stand firm on this issue was testament to her once unchallenged position at the top of German politics. But times have changed. This is the place we used to bath. Right. Oh. Yeah. Very dirty. <laughs> yeah. It's very dirty. At a refugee hostel an hour's drive from Munich, we meet Abrima Barry. He's from the Gambia and arrived in Germany last autumn. According to EU rules, he should be sent back to Italy. But for him, like hundreds of thousands of others, Merkel's Germany has become a sort of promised land. He says he'll do anything to resist deportation. Yeah, I will do anything to stop them. I cannot go back in Italy. That is my... When it's also, I cannot kill myself, but I can do something that, you know, they will take me, they will, they will take me back in, in the jail. You will commit a crime. So yeah, that you, yeah. Right. That's how much you want to stay here in Germany. You'd yeah. rather be in jail here in Germany yeah. than, than in Italy. Yeah, than in Italy. They have to help. They have to help immigrant people. They have to help us. It is this situation that has helped propel the anti-immigrant nativist AFD party into parliament. With their appeal to traditional German values, they've been taking support away from the CSU in Bavaria. Marcus Plenk is a banker turned farmer who was once a solid CSU voter. Now he's running as an AFD candidate in the regional elections in October. Let's put it this way. This is all about our Chancellor Merkel, and this is also the, the issue the CSU has currently. They are supporting her, although she has failed on any political issues, main political issues, for the last 12 years. Except now it, was, it was not only the refugee crisis, but now it was they're also. They're challenging her, the, the CSU. Are they are challenging them. her, but um, I don't believe that this is a, a real challenge. I think it's just mainly for, um, let's say, campaign reasons that they uh, make this a big deal now and after the elections are over in Bavaria I uh, believe that they will not keep their promises. And so the Bavarian Conservatives are trying to fend off a challenge from the right. At the CSU rally Marcus Söder, the regional prime minister's speech has gone down well. To save, yeah, to save our country, our people, that Six. everybody lives safely and that they live our culture, that's the most important. Save your culture from what? That we don't change our, our life because of other people. What about the AFD? The AFD seems to be saying a lot of the same things that uh, Mr. Soto was saying over there. Do you agree? Yeah, in many things, yes. There's nothing wrong with the AFD, what the AFD said. They're too aggressive in some parts, but they're, 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 just, they're saying what we are feeling. The German Chancellor is hoping that a deal with the EU could yet save the day. But in the beer tent, they say it's too late for that. Angela should go. Why? Huh? Why? She didn't, she didn't make the right politics for Germany. She, she, she decides for Europe, but she doesn't have no followers. No one. Look at France, look at Italy, look at Norway. Nobody will follow her rule. For more than a decade, Angela Merkel has been the pragmatic anchor of German and European politics. If her Bavarian allies desert her now, her time could soon be at an end. <laughs>